Hey Aries Watchers, I'm about to do your April 2019 reading. I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot and I'll be clarifying with Kathy Nichols' story cards. These are a little bit different. Uh, you don't read them upside down. You, they have a back side and a front side. So the back side is a little bit different. For this back side of this card, it speaks about the inner self. This is the Queen of Wands. And it says the back of the throne emphasizes its organic quality. It was not built, it grew. Looking outward with the queen, we see that while the forest is at her back, the vista before her is open. A magnificent sphinx dominates the scene. The throne seems to have been placed to overlook this statue. The queen is pulled toward the unknown and perhaps unknowable. Her outer life casts out energetic strands that connect her to many people and things, but at her core she needs silence. Her inner life is as twining and complex as the vines on her throne, and she requires deepening time to think it all through. So this uh, back side of this card kind of reminds me a little bit of the Hermit card, going within and kind of thinking things through yourself. Then we have the back side of the Ten of Swords card. And this is talking about the knight wearing only pants. He gazes upon his empty suit of armor bristling with its onslaught of swords. The knight himself is unscathed. An eclipse of the sun lights the harsh scene with eerie lifelessness. There are at least two ways to interpret this card. The knight is dead and his spirit is looking at the scene of his death. Or the knight was not attacked at all, only his empty armor. Either way, the symbolism speaks of the death of the ego, not the essence. Something has been killed, but it's not the most important thing. A solar eclipse is not the death of the sun. Follow the knight's example and contemplate what is essential and what is ephemeral. So I think what this card is talking about is you are at the end of some sort of difficulty that may have actually shaken your sense of self. You're coming out the other side of it though. Change is about to happen because tens are a completion of the cycle. So you've had this period of introspection with the backside of the Queen of Wands and now you have kind of come through this transformation with the backside of the Ten of Swords. Again, we have another backside. This one is the devil. And when you get this in a reading, its meaning is similar to what the regular side is, but with the added message that the devil's attention is elsewhere for the moment, so you have a better chance of making your escape. Seize the hope that rises before you. That reminds me of that phrase, um, if you find yourself in hell, just keep running. <laughs> You want to get out of there before the devil knows you're there. So, I think this is just kind of talking about going through a difficult time. Maybe a time where you felt controlled by something beyond your own control. Something outside of yourself. Whether it was a person or a job. Uh, financial issues. Something that made you feel in bondage in some way. So, I guess what they're trying to say is that time is over. You just need to hurry up and run out before the devil knows you're there and you won't be able to escape. Kind of like the Hotel California. You can check out whenever you want to, but you can't leave. So, you have to get out really quick before uh, you are noticed. So, this kind of speaks of, I think, a, the advice is it's a quick turnaround. You've been having a lot of this introspection, you've been through a lot, you've had this sort of transformation of yourself, 
through this time period and now it's time to just get out pick yourself up dust yourself off and move on to your positivity and your next phase in life the fourth card which is the only one that was facing on the right side is the king of wands and i think this is saying that you're about to step into your um, king of wands energy and since you are a fire sign and this is kind of your thing it's just basically telling you to take action do what has to be done that's how the king of wands is he's very um without the frills um he just gets shit done he's got his wand in his hand and he's ready to kick butt if necessary but he's gonna bring order to his world and do whatever he feels is right he's a very righteous character so step into your power with this card and just know that you're basically at this point you're on the other side of the ten of swords where you're really in your power now and just able to do whatever you need to do for the month of April the numerology of these cards breaks down to the lovers so this may be telling you that you have been through some sort of heartbreak or your love life has nudged you into this place of introspection after feeling like you kind of hit rock bottom and you've really been through the ringer with your love life. Uh, maybe you had some sort of a toxic relationship with somebody with their own demons, whether it was things like addiction or if it was something like codependency you know just feeling trapped by your relationship and now you're coming out of that feeling of just being beaten down you're just feeling free you have this feeling of freedom and you're finally able to just be your own person and do your own thing and be your king of wands energy so I feel like April's going to be kind of a, a month of independence for you and also a month of just getting back to what you truly are passionate about. Sometimes when we are in the midst of relationships, we are either so focused on what our partner wants or maybe even the wonderful things that we do as a team together which is great there's nothing wrong with that but whenever you do come out of a relationship there's always that period of time where you're like okay now I could do whatever I want you know however you feel about the relationship ending whether you were the one who broke things off or whether they were there's always that feeling of okay I'm back to me it's just me now I'm all by myself it reminds me of that song by Alanis Morissette. It's like that song by Alanis Morissette. Um, I think it's called Not We Is We. She's basically saying, okay, this is day one, and I'm going forward, but I as I, not as we. So you're kind of like left to your own devices, but whether you feel good about that or not good about that, you have to rely on yourself at this time. But I think it's going to be okay. Alright, now I'm going to do a pull the card. See if there's anything else that we need to know about the month of April 2019 for Aries. And we got the card Communion. Okay, so for the month of April, uh, the Oracle card we got is Communion. I see this as either coming together with another person or maybe just having union between yourself and nature. This could talk about spiritual union, so for those of you who are in twin flame relationships, this could indicate that April is bringing you together with your twin flame. 
You could see the lovers sitting on the park bench. They're probably looking up at the sky or just looking around at nature and just, I see them as being in their own little love bubble. So whatever has happened with the end of a relationship, whether it was with this person or somebody else, I see April is bringing you back together in some way in a way that makes you feel at peace and happy with each other. Okay, I hope you liked your quick reading and I'll be doing some more soon.